y'all. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you were new. We are doing another extreme budget meal. Here's the thing y'all, this is what inspired me. I was out and about um, a day or two ago and I ran through a drive-through just to pick up something because I hadn't eaten and I was hungry and it was gonna be a while before I could get home. And so I was shocked at how much a simple meal through a drive-through can be for one person right now. It's hard to get a full meal through a fast food restaurant drive-through for five dollars and that's just one meal and it's not gonna last all day so I got to thinking what if I only had five dollars today what if I needed to eat all day and so that's the inspiration for this meal so I'm very curious to see what I can do for five dollars how good it tastes and does it keep me full all day so my plan today is to feed one person but my plan is to feed one person breakfast lunch and dinner for only $5. In these times of inflation, I know that the price increases are not just hitting families, they're hitting everybody. My plan today is to go to Walmart and only use $5 to get enough food to feed just me, just one person, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and see if we can do it, see if it's filling, and see how it tastes. So let's go in the store, let's see what we can get for $5. It's breakfast, lunch, and dinner, let's go. So I have a loose plan, but where I'm going to begin is looking at the produce. I want some carrots. I wish I could get some loose carrots, but here is a bag for 98 cents. I wanted to get some broccoli. They were out of broccoli, so that's not going to be an option. But here are some zucchini and squash. I'll keep that in mind. Even this was expensive, the prepackaged broccoli. So I'm just going to have to pivot and think on that. I do want to get some type of fruit. The cheapest type of apples are these right here in this bin. It looks like they're like $1.78 a pound. So I grab one, I weigh that, and put that in my buggy. I also am getting one of these $1 loaves of French bread in the bakery. I was hoping to get one on clearance, but there were none. And then eggs. I can get this six-pack of eggs for $1.43. I also go to look for some ramen and I find this brand for 26 cents. I've not seen this before, but that is a good deal. So I grabbed that as well. Okay, y'all, I am back from Walmart and it was $6.09. I carried that calculator around y'all and I punched in those prices and I was like, nailed it. Get up to the register. Didn't nail it. So, I'm gonna turn you around and show you what I got and explain what happened, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so here are the things I've got. <clears throat> and remember, this is going to feed one person breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and the goal was to only spend $5. I spent $6.09. I was not planning on that. I'll tell you what happened, but let's just get into what we've got. I got this six count of eggs. That was $1.43. I got this loaf of French bread. I was hoping to find some on the bakery clearance rack. I did not, but I got this for a dollar. I got a banana. This banana was only 14 cents. I added that at the end because I thought I had extra room, but I did it and it's all because of this guy. So, this guy was in the bin, I and mean, you can see in the video where I looked, it was like $1.78 a pound. I even weighed it. It was 0.4 pounds. That's in the video. I was like, this is going to work, but when I rang it up, it was $2.57 a pound. So, that apple was $1.13. I was not counting on that. So lesson to me i just trusted the bin 
So I need to look at this little sticker closer next time because it says Honeycrisp. I'm gonna go back and look in the video and see if that's what, if it was in the wrong bin. So I'm gonna have to check that out. I got these baby carrots, 98 cents. This bag of broccoli, frozen broccoli for it, 98 cents. And this package of ramen noodles for 26 cents. So all of this is gonna be my meal starting tomorrow. And I'm going to check out that apple situation. And honestly, if I wanna make this a true $5 challenge, I'm just gonna take the apple out of the menu. That would get take $1.13 off of my total, which would actually bring me in below budget at $4.96. So we will see, but that will start my meals for tomorrow. Okay, so I figured it out. If you hear a noise, that's the air fryer back there. Um, I figured it out. The bin that I was looking at was Cosmic Apples. And I guess someone stuck a Honeycrisp apple in that bin. And so that's what happened. So lesson learned to me, always read the little sticker and make sure you're getting the right apple out of the right bin. So I think I'm just gonna take it out of the menu and make the menu work for $5. So we're gonna take that dollar and 13 cents off of our total. Okay y'all, it's the next morning and today is the day that I'm going to try to feed myself breakfast, lunch, and dinner with just the items that you saw me buy yesterday. So this morning, what I'm thinking for breakfast is I'm gonna use this for some French toast. Now this is a big loaf. So I'm gonna get a lot out of this. It was a dollar. So I'm gonna make some French toast. And for this challenge, I'm gonna be using like basic pantry supplies, like butter, salt and pepper. Now I'm gonna be using syrup with this French toast because I didn't buy syrup. And not everybody may have syrup in their pantry. So I thought I would add a little sweetness to this French bread, French toast, <laughs> by using this so banana. So I'm going to do a bananas foster situation with this. Of course, I'm not adding the rum, so it's not really bananas foster, but just stay tuned and I'm gonna make some kind of topping out of this banana. So the first thing I'm going to do to prepare for my French toast is get my mixture. I'm gonna use two eggs. I'm going to put them in this pie dish so that it'll be easy to put my French toast in. So I'm going to break two eggs in. I'm also going to be using just a smidge of milk. Now I know I didn't buy milk, but I'm just hoping that maybe you have a tiny bit in your fridge, but if not, you don't need the milk. And I'm also using a little bit of cinnamon. If you don't have that, you don't absolutely need that either but i'm just going to give this a good mix i'm going to slice up three slices of this french bread loaf that i have and then i am just going to be dunking this into my mixture i have my pan on the stove it's preheating and i'm going to put in some butter then i'm just going to roll my french bread around in that egg mixture to get it all coated. I'm then going to put this in my frying pan until each side has cooked through. And it only took a couple of minutes, but this is what the French toast looked like once I got it out of the pan. It looks like a ton of food. So now I'm gonna work on my banana topping. So I put two tablespoons of butter. I sliced up that banana. I'm gonna add that into the pan with the butter. And then I think I'm going to try to make a like a, a caramelized sauce with this. So I happen to have some brown sugar in the cabinet. I'm going to add a little bit of that. So after adding my brown sugar, I just gave these bananas a stir and let that cook down for about two minutes just so that brown sugar could melt. And here is what it looked like. Can you believe that? What a beautiful topping for my French toast. So this is what my plate looks like. Let's get tasting. Here we go. I'm gonna taste this bananas foster sorta French toast. So get some bananas with 
the toast. That is really good. I was worried I would miss the syrup. And I don't miss the syrup at all. Doing those bananas with a little bit of butter and a little bit of brown sugar added so much flavor to this. Mm. This was a whim. Hey guys, it is now going on one o'clock and it is time to make lunch. I'm just now getting hungry. Those French toast with the bananas on top was delicious and so filling. I almost could not finish the whole plate. So that was a win. Now we're gonna get on to a lunch situation. I have four eggs left. So, and I have all of this bread. I mean, tons of bread. And I have a bag of baby carrots. I'm gonna hard boil two eggs, okay? And we're gonna make some egg salad sandwiches. So I'm going to get my eggs in a pot, cover them with water and put them on the stove, bring them to a boil. That's all I've got to do right now. And then once my eggs come to a boil, I will cut them off, let them sit for about 10 to 12 minutes and then we'll make our egg salad. I decided to go ahead and just hard boil the rest of my eggs, which was four eggs. So I just peeled my eggs, I chopped them up, put them in this bowl and mixed in just a little bit of mayo and then I'm going to add some salt and pepper. Um, this is just a basic egg salad. I did save one of the eggs that I'm going to use with dinner, but I'll just give this a stir. Now I'm just going to be putting the egg salad on the French bread and this is going to make two huge sandwiches and I'm just going to be serving this up with some carrots on the side. I still have a ton of carrots in that bag and you can see here by looking at my plate this is a ton of food. This looks delicious and I am really pleased so far with this challenge. Okay so this made a ton of food. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to eat it all but I cut one of them in half so I can do a taste test. See that here. Okay, here we go. Mmm. Yummy. Egg style sandwich. I love it. The carrots. So far, this $5 challenge is good. Tons of food. Good flavor. I'm gonna go eat lunch. Okay, so we've made it to dinner. I've not been hungry today, guys. I've not. The breakfast and the lunch were very filling. Like, it was a lot. So, we're at dinner. Now, I'm going to be doing a stir fry kind of thing. I've got this pack of ramen. Got this bag of frozen broccoli. I've got what's left of my baby carrots. I'm going to be doing something with that. I do still have this much of my French bread. I don't know if I'm gonna use that because I'm kind of like full of bread. So I'm gonna wait and see, but I'm gonna start by getting some water on the stove boiling for my ramen. I'm going to slice up these carrots and start so sauteing those in a pan on the stove. Then I'll add my broccoli in later and then I'll be adding in some seasoning. So let's get to the stove. The first thing I'm going to do is put a couple pats of butter in my preheated pan and then I'm going to be adding in some carrots. Now I sliced my carrots up and just um, did about, I don't know, I would say it's a cup, but I just poured those into the pan with the butter. I added in some seasonings. I started with salt and pepper and then I had some minced onion in my cabinet. This is not necessary if you don't have it. I think that the butter and the salt and the pepper would be great, but I also had some garlic powder, so I used that as well. Use whatever seasonings that you have. I then removed the seasoning packet from the ramen and I'm going to be putting the ramen into the boiling water for about three minutes according to package directions. 
And now I'm going to be adding in the frozen broccoli once my carrots have sauteed for a few minutes. I'm gonna give that a stir and then I'm gonna work on my sauce. So I happen to have red wine vinegar in my cabinet. I'm gonna use a little bit of that. I'm also going to be using some soy sauce that I had in the fridge. If you don't have either of these, don't worry about it. Just mix the seasoning packet with water or you could even use vegetable oil whatever that you have you could use some of the pasta water that you were cooking your ramen in that would be great as well so i'm just going to add in the seasonings i'm going to give that a little stir and then i think it's going to be time to get this stir fry finished up so i take my drained ramen i pour that into the pan and i start giving everything a stir now, I needed to use tongs to get those noodles mixed in, but look how much food this is. It's the whole pan. I poured in my sauce. I gave it another stir, and we are ready to plate. Okay, I'm getting ready to dish up my stir fry. I wanted to show you the size of this bowl. This is your standard, like, cereal bowl. So, that's the size of the bowl I'm using. So, let's dish up this stir fry. And here is all that stir fry right out of the pan. It's hot, so I can't taste it yet, but I mean, it pretty much fills this bowl. Like, look at that. Okay, let's taste test. I'm gonna get the broccoli, the carrots, and a little bit of noodle. Ready? Mm. That was amazing. That takes ramen to the next level. Wow. The flavor is on point. Like, I, I, I can't even. Like, this is so good. That is not a struggle meal. That is not extreme budget that's delicious like that is going in our regular rotation in this house yummy and like a ton of food so that brings us to the end of this challenge i fed myself breakfast lunch and dinner for five dollars and y'all i was completely satisfied with each of these meals i was not hungry i was full the flavor was good in each meal in its own way. I will be 100% honest, I did not snack throughout the day. I didn't need to. I was completely full and satisfied. I also didn't like fill up on sodas and coffees and things like that. I didn't have any of that. I have only drank water today. I didn't plan that. It's just kind of the way it happened. Um, so I didn't even think about it. It's just now that I look back, I'm like, I didn't even have anything but water with my meals. So or throughout the day. So this was great. This was a win. I'm so excited. And there's a couple of these meals that's gonna be put in the rotation here in this house. And the great thing is, is I still have this much French bread left. I have these mini, look at all these carrots that I have left. And all of this was only $5. So I feel like it was a win. I hope this video inspired you to eat something delicious even when you're on a tight budget. If you like this video, please like, please subscribe. It helps me out so much and it helps me to know what kind of content you guys want to see. So until next time, bye.